Hello everybody, welcome to the amazing first round clash between myself and Rick Reckless. Um, so Rick's team is very low TV, he's got four journeymen. Um, he hasn't got a lot to it, but he does have some catchers and uh, an edge four lineman and he has a wizard so the ball's always going to be under threat of all these crazy leapy men and he's going to you know it's rick so he's going to have very creative players go for things it's going to be a nightmare i'm going to have to play kind of perfect every turn it's, it's going to be really really tricky uh, obviously my team is ostensibly a lot better um <laughs> there's a strength five catcher which, may, which would make the match trivial if he didn't have a wizard i think because he doesn't have strip ball um, but the wizard is going to be is just going to be terrifying. It's going to make it a really really tough game, and then obviously Rick is going to make it a tough game. So there you go. That's it. Um, I'm gonna of, of course going to try hard now. So in the booth is Fimir and Skurametso to take over and uh, and 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 do all the commentary. Thank you very much, guys. Take it away. Um, all right. Hello everyone. We're going to talk over each other. How we doing today, <laughs> Fimir? Ah, uh, doing good, and good. Finish the gym, eat my protein, ready for this game. Coming here, Rick, yeah, with I... a, a local uh, league uh, team. <laughs> <laughs> you know the... Yeah, I had not seen uh, Rick's team uh, before Jim just showed it now. I didn't realize the state it was currently in. Uh, but with the Edge 5 Leaper, you know, he can just, and a, and a wizard, he can just roll the dice. You can always just roll the dice and something like that. And we know how well that ever works out for Jim. Looked like we had, uh, who was that? Uh, star player Skink? Um, yes. Is that the Hemlock. Stabby Boy? I, I think it's the Stabby Boy. Yeah, Hemlock, yeah. And uh, that, you know, could be a shout, I guess. Rick as, uh, is famous for picking a weird star players. Well, there's someone in the chat right now. Try, try. I, I saw go on a delightful run with Hemlock once in the playoffs uh, on a lizard team, uh, pretty much exclusively taking him as an inducement every round, and it definitely worked out for him for a while. I don't know if he won that season or not, but it was impressive when it happened. And Rick won the toss. Choose to defend. Indeed, and with the wizard and the leapers, I mean, I if I were Rick. I feel like I would just be like putting as much pressure on at all times. You know, it's probably going to be a losing fight if you play it cold because the teams are just so off balance with each other. So you might as well go in hard with the leap and with that edge four and the edge five there and see what you can uh, see what you can turn around. But we'll see. Jimmy has the catcher strength five. He gets three dice. Versus yep. uh, any of the catches. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Without any assist. And yeah, it, it, Hemlock actually adds a level of, uh, as, as Try rightfully pointing out, a level of, uh, I, I won't call it bash, but uh, Kaz threat uh, to, uh, to Jim's catchers, uh, which might be the best way, <laughs> might be the best way to take that strength five off the pitch. Yes, because uh, Rick doesn't have any tackler. Exactly. And has uh, a lot of journeymen. And the kids left journeymen are horrible because you can't reroll the leaps. So. Of course, Rick, uh, Rick, four, four re-rolls to Jim's three. The wizard in play. We'll see what happens at the kickoff. Jim, uh, yeah, Jim's not giving him any openings, setting up wide, doesn't need to win fights here, especially with a guard and a strength five, doesn't need more people on the LOS, so he's, all he cares about right now is getting blitzed, <laughs> although on a blitz he can just, Rick can just leap over him and be in the backfield if he wants to anyway, so... Now the standing five is uh, safer. Yep. Oh, and I think uh, I think he heard your red hair uh, of like minds there pulled him off the LOS. Might have might never have been thinking about him on the LOS to be honest. Just hadn't hadn't switched him yet. Who knows? Thing is, all going to come to the skill of Rick of uh, rolling dice. <laughs> yeah, he's going to need to roll a lot of dice to win this and game. If we, 
And if we were all betting on, on which way the dice would go, I think every single person watching this game would bet in Rick's favor. Uh, but will that be enough? Coaching, you know, Rick's an excellent coach. Jim, obviously, an excellent coach as well. Jim with the better team. Usually that spells disaster. Uh, but, you know, again, Kislev, one of those teams that can really take, take advantage of good dice. Just starting, Flicky. Just starting. Also, hello. Four rerolls for, for Jimmy. That means he can uh, greed yep. some blitz. <laughs> Rick being, uh, Jimmy being super careful, not uh, blocking with the wrestling case. is a uh, one in nine, and then something happens, and then suddenly it's a hole in the middle. And yeah, he's not even leaving a square, not even leaving base contact open. Knows that wizard wizard could come at any point, so he's picking it up on the, uh, I believe that was a rookie. Uh, you know, not going to let anyone else eat the bolt, that's for damn sure. And I think we're going to see the blitz on the loner. Also, the best way that Jimmy has to... There you go, three dice. Yep. <laughs> Loner unlikely to pull an apo. <laughs> Doesn't need it anyway. Best counter attack uh, against the wizard is scoring quickly. So Rick doesn't have the chance. But also those leapers are a problem. Uh, yeah, try. This is the first. This is the first round, Rick. Rick, uh, I think I think he would. I think he did a like a morning of qualification push. So his last game was literally the last game he could physically play with this team, uh, and so that's why he he is missing two players. One of them looked like it was kind of a key player for the team, but the team was kind of. I, I I don't know for sure. I didn't watch the run. I'm sure someone in chat does know, but I believe I saw, this yes. team was a second half of the season kind of yes, thrown it was together a team. Last effort of the season, keeping the TV at the minimum that uh, you could ever get, and trusting getting wizards and leap around. So basically, yes, terrific. Uh, Rick's team has been always like this. No blitzers, no reserves. <laughs> Mango. No. <laughs> Rick is the local shop uh, league team coming, you know, to the big tournament like the England FA Cup, you know, where any team can qualify. But he has an incredible record with 17 wins, no draws, and four losses. It's for uh, Kislev, is really, really good. Oh, man. Starts off with a one and nine. Only Russell. Oh, no. Sorry. Yeah, only Russell on both players has to take him down. Is he going to go right into the backfield? It doesn't look like it. Is he gonna? No. No. Doesn't look like he's going to do that this turn. Kind of becomes a game of Red Rover when you get into this state as Kislev, though. You start sending one dude into the backfield and the next dude fails. You know which player is getting murdered by the strength, the strength five mighty blower. Uh, I don't know if you cut out there for the rest of the stream, but you definitely cut out there for me. I know what this. I know what, what. Oh, there you go. Now you're better. Yeah, now you're better. Yeah. Oh, and here we go. Kislev flooding into the back. Rick is going to do that. He's just going to go all in, put as much pressure on it. Oh, what else can you really do as Kislev? Jim can just instantly three dive that catcher. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't think Jim had any intention to, to, to truly DACA here, especially against the Wizard. But Jim able, yeah, Jim able to three die and get follow up locks if he wants. It doesn't. Eh, he's thinking about not getting the follow ups. He does have some other blocks up on the LOS, but he's got us. He's got to be real careful with the ball here. And he's got to make sure he doesn't use up too many players because he needs a loose cage around to protect against the wizard, but also not that loose because they can leap in and just attack him. Uh, Famir, if you're talking, we lost you. Yep, Jim uh, leaving about a you know a, a space uh, a space in almost every direction around that ball to prevent the wizard, but it's he still needs another player back there. Wow, th thanks, Red Hair. He's he, I'm sure he's uh, just resetting. He'll be back. Okay. There we go. Ah, now we got you. We got you now. Because I have the VPN activated with the fire. Gotcha. Things are having mismatch. And now I think we're going to learn a lot about how Rick is uh, looking at this game. Uh, what is he going to do here? Jim giving him uh, no more than four elves if he wanted to uh, fireball. I don't think Rick is going to do that. Uh, but he hasn't started moving, so <laughs> he might be considering it already. But it doesn't seem like the wisest play to me. And, yeah, he's going to play this properly, try and stay in front of the elves, I think, wait for his moment. Jim likely to fail something at some point, you know, and, and Rick wants to be in a position to capitalize on that when it happens with, uh, again, with the, the high agility leaping and, uh, and, and the wizard in the pocket. Yes, still turn two, so... Rick still has time. Or, or, or oh, maybe. He's going to go, or, or he could be going right in. Guard on the ball here. Still has to hit it from the other side to avoid. Uh... Oh, he's got a couple. He's got a couple options there. There is a guard down in that bottom. Maybe Jim wanted the guard where the strength five is to protect against that, but then the strength five could be exposed. Yeah, Rick's going to probably be going in every single turn of the game from here on out, Yeti. It's it's one of his it's one of his very limited win conditions, I think, <laughs> to hit the ball as much as he physically can. Now, is he putting a second guard in so he can go in with one of his uh, catchers? Yes. He might be. No, it doesn't look or like not. it. No, no, he backed off. Oh, he's not even going in at all now. So he just wanted the side step. Oh, no, he is going in. Okay, never mind. Sorry, I thought he was blitzing that end guy there for a minute. Well, he's got the, the, the pow. pow! In with the pow! And the armor break! And here we go, folks. And he's dead! And the death! Oh, no! There you go! There you Jim, go! Rick even, Magic! He's the Magic of Rick! <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 early GG. GG. the earliest of GG's, Jim pulling pulling the emergency. Uh, and now he can pick up with the Agility 5, dodge away, pass it to the oh, <laughs> moving eight. Can't really protect the ball. Well, oh, yeah, he can pass it down, yeah. Cool be <laughs> one, yep. one nil for Rick in turn two. My God! Oh my gosh! I could I, like didn't even Jim didn't even have to consider appoing on that dead. He knew he knew that one was up. Yep, ball in hand. Oh, Whoa. but there it is! Snakes a dodge away. He's away. He's He's off. Edge five is off the pitch. Apple's got to come in for that badly hurt. Yes, is that your five? He needs to appo it. This is the only player that can help him from this point. <laughs> yep, Apple comes in. So, but that's it for the drive, and Jim has a good chance to recover. <laughs>
And Dueling GG's! Oh my goodness! Oh Gums my goodness! GG. What a game! What a game! Do, we don't even chance. need to watch the pitch, just watch the chat, folks. There is a chance that the, that the gadget gets served. <laughs> that might be the earliest and best GG I've ever seen. Jim, an absolute master. An absolute, absolute master, master of the hope, early GG game. Hope, hope notes, he dropped everyone. the GG, you know, uh, taking advantage of the death of his own player. <laughs> wow, you got to love a good a good early GG, and that was as good as it comes. Screw making uh, making uh, one-turn guides for YouTube. Jim just needs a GG guide. No, the wizard is still uh, on. Yeah, wizard. The... That was no, that was an edge five. That was the edge five, but not the wizard. Wizard, wizard's still in pocket. So this is far from done. But man, what a that's got to be as a, as big a relief as Jim could possibly ask for. Still oh, has yes. to secure this ball, and he really wants to surf that player in the end zone because if something does go wrong here, he's in trouble because it's going to probably be a score. That ain't going to help. Rick's, yeah, I was going to say, Rick has got to go down to that, yeah, down there to block off the uh, Jim's edge five from getting around. Not that he can really block an edge five from making two plus dodges. Oh, <laughs> pathing. Pathing almost did a number on him. And yeah, Jim uh, takes the blitzer. So the ball's not going anywhere else. It's staying there. A little bit of a, little bit of a scary spot until that ball is surrounded again, with uh, both of those agility players ready uh, to get this score if anything goes wrong for Jim. But it doesn't look like he has to roll a ton of dice. Maybe just a couple twos here. Oh, we might have lost you again, Famir, unless you're being super quiet. No, no, maybe super quiet. Almost okay, almost okay, fair almost, enough. Yeah. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. You know, of all the players for that two turn around, uh, that two turn turnaround to happen to, Rick Reckless is pretty well equipped to manage it. That would that that is a that's got to be a heartbreaker and a, and a big morale blow. Uh, thinking you've just uh, you've just stolen one and you're gonna get away with it. Then snaking and losing your player <laughs> in the same turn. All rerolls, easy to use one. Rick is going again next turn. I can guarantee you. No, uh, every the... turn. I, now, the question is this is where I think a, 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 maybe a, a less reserved player would drop a fireball. A little frustrated about how it came out. Might just want to hammer home and try and get that score now. I don't think Rick does it. I think he shows a little more restraint than that. And uh, more traditional attack on the ball here by the yes. Kislev. But I'm... guard on every corner, it's not easy from this point. Oh, oh, I was wrong. I was wrong and or right, depending on how you look at it. Fireball comes in, and it was not great. But there is a hole to hit the ball. There is a space to hit the ball with a... 1D, at least, even 2D. <laughs> and if Jim can survive this turn, that's almost all of Rick's weapons that were like big threats to this game being removed. And uh, it's it's hard to see a way back into it. But if Rick can get that can get that ball free, he might have a shot to go up one nothing on Jim's drive and and have a have a means to save this game. And all it takes is a couple of uh, three-plus dodges here, or leaps. Here comes the leap. May oh. have, fails his very first one. Reroll in. And fails fails. again. And uh, that, uh, that could be the early flurry and the last we see from Rick Reckless in this game. I mean, he's going to keep playing to the bitter end. But uh, it's hard to see a way in now, losing all of his tools to uh, save this game. 
It's going well, Marzum. Uh, very well if you're sitting in gym seat, although he did lose an elf permanently. But it was just a line, no? so okay. And there is the, 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 the surf again, the temptation of surfing that player. And the Hemlock hasn't moved at all, all uh, <laughs> since the game has started. <laughs> That's very true. Hemlock is probably the only weapon he's got left to get into that cage with all that guard now. I really, really, really hope, L L Large Thud, that you uh, that you kept some receipts on that one. We were all watching that game, wondering exactly all oh, the triple skulls, uh, wondering just how bad it might have been in that chat for you uh, during that game. Commentary there, and we were wondering how many lines of chat. How many megas of chat uh, were generated? The new tra yes, I did, Mangal. I did see that. <laughs> it sure was something. And Jim now under basically no pressure here. Yeah, uh, Hemlock. You know, Hemlock is pretty much the answer here. I'd, I'd be, I'd be thinking about trying to get him off the pitch, just so you don't have to worry about that. But again, Kislev at any time can leap, can leap and steal the ball. Unless you go full Death Star, Jim could go full Death Star. Oh, he snakes it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. Oh, lucky boy. Lucky boy, and then uh, double yeah. power there. Is that uh, is that other catcher still in the end zone? Yeah. He yes. Is. Yeah. So I think you're gonna see the stab blitz from Hemlock. Or I will uh, go with one of the wrestlers that the uh, rig has but i don't think there is any on range because there is uh, only one uh, delivering and all the promises about the madness that was going to be involved crazy rolls every single turn yeah, Rick's got to think about how he wants to attack it. I, you know, that's interesting. Try I, without tackle. I, I hate hitting. I hate hitting a blodger without tackle. But maybe that's your only option. Yes, it would. Would as a Yeah. Does he have wrestle? Oh, he does have wrestle. Yeah. He, oh, yeah. The for yeah, the wrestle uh, sack. Okay. Yeah, wrestle sack. Wrestle sack. Good. 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 Good shot. Yeah, 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 I didn't see the wrestler. He's actually got two wrestlers up there. Go now. He's planning a... Who's going to, you know, if he manages to take down the ball, who will be there for the recovery? And the guard's going in, so he's, yeah, he's, I mean, obviously he's hitting that exposed ball right now. <laughs> that was never a question. It's more a matter of with who and where's the recovery going to go or are going to have to go. And here comes the bleed. I don't know Doesn't why he got it. two assists in there. Yeah, I don't know why he got the other assist. Oh, ball Brilliant about scatter. the worst scatter possible. Beautiful scatter for uh, Rick. Three tackles. Yep. Uh, I don't think he wants to try a six up pickup. And now he has to bring that. He needs that player out of the end zone. He can't risk him down there any longer. 
Brings him back up, trying to tie up players. Hope for some bad dice by Jim. Really don't know why Rick put an extra assist in there, though. Yeah, it was weird. I was thinking that he will use the Hemlock for the recovery. He was going to foul, but need to foil. Yeah. And the second Hemlock's off the pitch, that edge, or the strength five can just pick up the ball and just not have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, boy. Jim, Jim rolling. Jim uh, dies. The Jim uh, dies. Uh, the... I, mean, I mean, he can't really complain about his dice after what Rick went through, but still not looking... Not looking, not looking as secure as he'd wanted at this point. Basically, every turn that ball stays on the ground or, or, or not completely protected, there's a turn that Rick can roll some dice and go up one nothing. Jim may be thinking about blitzing. Uh, it's a sidestep in yeah, there. He doesn't blitz, want to hit yeah, him. the blitz with the uh, blitz that was on the ground. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he was uh, thinking who will uh, pick up the ball. Yeah. And I think the yeah, player will tackle. Yeah, he's a little nervous about hitting that sidestepper because if he doesn't put him down, he can scatter that ball through. And if that ball scatters through to the left of the screen there, there's no, there's not a whole lot of high elf recovery options. Uh, Edge five can kind of get anywhere, but he has his own uh, Edge five gene that could be the, probably the best option for. Uh, oh. Get the oh, pow gets, finally. Gets the pow. finally. Still probably gonna scatter it though. Will he? Maybe, maybe not actually. Yes, yep. he's going. <laughs> okay, oh, yep. and I can feel uh, Jim's uh, button clenching. Oh, my God. <laughs> Another perfect scatter for Jim. <laughs> and, now, and now he might just hand it off to the, uh, to the strength five. I think that's the right play. Yep. More or less a ready-made cage for him. Unbelievable! Another <laughs> snake! And oh, he's in the hands of the same player again! <laughs> oh no, he's right next. He's right next to Hemlock to get a free stab. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> My god! Tragedy oh, after tragedy. This game, no one no one wanting uh, no the, one on the, the pitch the... wants to win it. The string of five, his hands are too, you know, too muscles, too many muscles on the hands. Can, can grab the ball. Yep, free stab and a blitz now. Might have to be a red die blitz though. I guess he could leap a guard in there. Does he have a guard left? Yeah, he, yeah, he does. I don't know if he can get there though. Oh, ready? Fails the stab. Well, it not was as good. Eight, not so as good when it's not the catchers. It's armor nice, armor eight, so at least. And it's a blodger and has side step, so the even if he gets the power, you know, he can side step to uh, an area surrounded by uh, high elf catchers. Well, if you look at the icons of the player, you know, he has two clenched fists. So, yes, how is going to grab the ball? <laughs> He's got no hands, Elliot. It's like a squirrel. It's like a squirrel, yes, uh, with no hands. <laughs> is he going to leap that guard in, or is he just going to go with the reds on wrestle? 
Well, the dice have been uh, set to maximum uh, comedy factor. <laughs> they sure have. He is. He's going for. Oh, no. Sorry. It's a 1D. And just pushes all around. And now he can side the step to a safe place. Surrounded by friends. Jimmy has three turns after this one. Uh, so should be enough for High Elves to score. Well, if you were looking for some high strategy Blood Bowl, maybe the uh, the dice didn't shape out to uh, give you what you wanted, but you sure got an entertaining one. That's for damn sure. Oh, yes. <laughs> In the same way that like a train wreck can be kind of interesting to look at. But... Clearly, the, the, the catcher, the problem is not the core. So he needs the cardio, you know, being able to have uh, some yeah. mobility. Oh, 3D on uh, on Hemlock, and then there's a chain out as well. Or a chain off, I should say. You can chain both of those tackle zones off of him. Because we're because we're watching intently, FD. This game is yes, this game has right. got us this game has got us captivated because it literally anything could happen next to it the way that the way the dice have shaped it out. Oh there you go, nice armor break there. Yeah. <laughs> Another nice chain. And I think he's going to blitz with the ball carrier. Might, yeah, he does have tackle. Wants to get away from, oh, the wrestler's stunned, so that doesn't even matter. I'll go for the free hit with the guard. No, and then you need a guard to uh, screen. Oh, okay, it's a power, but it's not the blitz. No, he's going to stay there, keep the cage around him. Another KO. Good, but Rick has two babes, so... Yes, I saw, yes, that's right, I already blitzed it. One blitz per turn, guys, don't forget to do that. <laughs> Yeah, the strength five has lost ball carrier privileges, I think. Not used to it anymore. He's like, what was this? No hand. <laughs> Rick trying to bait him. <laughs> so Rick can leap a garter in to get a one die. It's probably he's just got to keep doing that, I think, from this point on. I don't know what else he has. Now, Jim, again, Jim, uh, Jim's high elves. He's fast enough, but most teams start sweating when the ball hasn't <laughs> crossed the LOS. Oh, he's going in with the stab Stop instead. Me. Fails again. Gain another relief coming. From, well, that's a really poor stab here. And again, it's a, almost a good thing it's not on a catcher. Nice chain to get the hemlock out of the danger zone. 
I think the best Rick can hope for right now is to keep this uh, – the, the current ball carrier out of scoring range to force Jim to have to hand it off one more time because that's the only thing that's been working for him. Instant. <laughs> I was just looking at that. <laughs> 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 instantly. Didn't have to think about that one for more than a split second. Mighty blow not working, but those guys are armor eight, so. Uh, yeah, the turnaround here could be in the second half, you know. Rick could just throw those throw some blocks and get some elves off the pitch for the rest of the game. Drive down an eight and score, and then who knows what happens in overtime. Game's certainly not over, but all of the things that we said could win the game for Rick basically expended, uh, other than the fact that he could just roll good dice with Kislev, um, have been expended in the first, like, three turns of this game. So. Well, <laughs> fucking hemlock, what? Let's re roll. No I mean, reason uh, not, yeah, no reason not to re roll that. <laughs> Very true. All right, now another chance for Rick to leap someone in and then leave someone else. Yeah. The thing is, Rick, Rick can bring the uh, can bring the edge four around the front, um, and could technically manufacture a two D, avoiding the guard on the back. If he if he left his own garter in there, but might not have anything to recover with. I mean, all he's really got standing otherwise is loaders right now. Uh, so maybe the one D's better. Even that's a little bit of a stretch, but not the end of the world. You know things aren't going great when you're starting off with loader blocks. Yes. He's just going to go, yeah, it just, of course, I don't know why I keep forgetting about Hemlock. He's just going in with Hemlock. Hemlock could uh, save this game for Rick. That's pretty much it. Stop. Fails again. 28% is the third yeah. stop. We're closing yep. to the statistically 100%. <laughs> I mean, rolling. A, you're asking him to roll a nine plus. That ain't easy. Who's ever broken armor on a dwarf before? Don't use wrestle. Uh, don't use. Ah, there you go. Well, now I think Hemlock is gonna get the punch in many different ways. Also. Uh, that yeah. guarantees that the side step. He has another yeah. chance of a 3D with the tackler, so yes, yeah. an army roll, so. Gets him with tackle. There's the break, there's the K, just the KO, baby. That's the KO. Effect. Not very relevant with two uh, babes. Yep. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see uh, Rick's uh, Rick's Kislev one turn game and or Rick's inevitable riot. Oh, yes, Jimmy. 
All right, now uh, wow. Jimmy has two options. One of them is moving the player to the no, end line, or the other one is press end turn. Who knows I'm what the one I will you know, defend. I choose? I will defend. Because there was so many chaos, so many chaos, not a scoring, it's an option. Go, Jimbo. You might be getting uh, tatoed right now. <laughs> there you go. Jimmy yep. fail uh, in the trap of Rick. Allowing Rick to have two KO rolls by scoring. <laughs> and luck coming back on. Oh, Rick, our, uh, Jim had his back line all, all ready to go, just about. Yes, because the chance of the one turner for uh, Kislev is very possible because uh, Hemlock is very fast. Yeah, good point. And Jim can put the tackle on every square. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Butter knife versus butter. <laughs> it's pretty good, CSS. Yeah, Jim failing to put tackle on every square somehow. I know the gym is massive uh, relief after uh, scoring. Things are looking much better now because Kislev is much better in defense than in offense. Yep. Oh, I, I dodged a bullet. It just started raining rather heavily, and uh, I uh, shirked off dog walking duties to my wife to cast this game. She's out there getting her aid on right now. <laughs> Here in Edinburgh, it's been a wonderful uh, sunny day. It was like uh, six degrees Celsius degrees under the sun. Don't even try to go under the saddle. <laughs> We're not very sure what's going on here with Jim. As he has Jim forgot to press confirm setup. Oh, yeah, the pee. Or, or he just completely forgot. <laughs> <laughs> One of the two. Quick halftime wank, maybe. Power wank. Yeah. Clearing the head, you know. <laughs> yeah. Famir, very Scottish, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. Uh, that's well known, Anza. Yeah, I've been living in... Uh, here for 10 years now, and I can guarantee you there is no such thing as a Scottish accent. There is just people you can't understand. <laughs> I can ask John to... I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. I have to say that Rick has a lot of good tools to get a one turn, and I mean, he has the IG4, uh, IG5 to catch the ball and give it to Hemlock. He has guard to get some uh, nice 2D on the blocks, and Hemlock has side step and dodge and movement 8. Was that a Highlander reference, Marzum? Is that what we did? Because we did the reverse Sean Connery in the Highlander with Famir just now. <laughs> <laughs> the Spaniard. <laughs> you know, because in Spain we have the movies, we never go to, we got a fantastic Spanish voice for Sean Connery on Highlanders. So it was like, horrible accent, what are you talking about? It was so fucking brilliant. <laughs> One hour top, you, you know, dub actors, you know, who the, the voice to Sean Connery is absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, he didn't get the pushes, but the, the, the chance still on. Uh, he might have made it hard. There we go. Okay, yeah, he had made it a little harder for himself there. Time to push. He can even get another push here. I mean, he's definitely got he's definitely got that side of it. Oh, Jim might be pretty sad in a second. Die this Tebe, another push. Yep. Now he does have to get the ball into his hands here. Making a little bobble box, I guess. He does have a reroll, but obviously loner gonna be a factor. You don't see a Oh, good pass. Good catch, and here oh we go. My God. He does Who have do we dodge. Go, lads? Who he do does we have go? dodge. Jim gonna really pay the penalty for not getting tackle on every square. No, he's not. He does get the re-roll. Does get the Oh, he doesn't get it. Oh man. He's out! Oh, and Hemlock is oh, out! No, no. Unbelievable! 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 What a result! What a result! What a game! Wow. Jesus Christ! Hemlock was dreaming of uh, dreaming of better days and never brought it to this game. Every single Good time Lord. Rick seems to get it done, just the last roll <laughs> cost him a player. Yep. Well, Rick's looking at an eight-turn drive, a score, and then winning a toss and just praying. Whew. So, you know, it's the tactics of the year. This is fine. It was a trap one time. Was that a failed Was that a failed GFI at the end or a failed dodge at the end? It was the that, dodge. Uh, it was the dodge. It I was think. the dodge, yeah. <laughs> oh, Rick. Oh, ever this round. Again, why do we even need to watch the game? Just watch the chat banter. <laughs> yes, you're right. He, he has failed the pushes. Hemlock will still be alive. Well, I think this uh, kickoff event is going to be uh, a blitz. Or a <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hemlock, uh, Hemlock unfortunately, de never carried his weight in that game. Certainly less valuable uh, to the Kislev as a as a as an inducement uh, when they're on offense anyway. Still wishes he had that player, I'm sure, but not as big a loss if he'd lost them before uh, you know before his own defensive half. Yeah, Hemlock on defense, in offense is. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's very like quick. Not... It's a blotch, a blotch a step, jump up. Yeah, but you're not going to, like, put the ball in his hands as a loner, so... <laughs> Unless you absolutely have to. And now, I'm going to grab a can, Miguel, and we get the setup. Give me a second. And uh, Jim, Jim uh, kind of spreading out. Not doing a rule of fives. I'm just protecting his catchers, mostly. Doesn't have to do a ton of heavy lifting here, but uh, but again, like Kislev, you can't really bog them down. They can always just roll some dice to get away. Uh, so it, it can be a little challenging to to stop them scoring, but and especially if. Uh, if uh, Rick can throw some good dice on the LOS, get up players. But looking pretty grim for Rick right now. He's going to need a little bit of help here, I think, to get through this game, get it to overtime. That's actually a uh, death by a thousand paper cuts there. Twice now he's had to wrestle down on his opening blitz of a turn. 
just not where you want to be with wrestle. Oh, descent, descent in chat by Kilmatronics. I think there's another place for that. <laughs> Just kidding, obviously. I am back. I can see that nothing worth mentioning has happened. Uh, just uh, his blitz ended in another wrestle down. Oh, it almost. Yeah, I was going to say, almost looks like he's setting up a foul here. He needs to high roll. Yeah, he really does. Hi, ya as Rick likes to say. Gets and that's the it, KO. gets the KO and is KOs not will, a send off. Yeah, KOs will absolutely stick, but Rick, I mean, Jim can just basically walk right down the field here. <laughs> I mean, split that team up perfectly. I guess you can't really ever split Kislev comparatively, but he can put him under a ton of pressure if he wants to. Jim sometimes does like to hang back, though. I'm surprised that Jimmy didn't even thought about using the the apple. No, I think I think we've gotten into the the realm of the apple is the uh, break glass in case of emergency for the strength five or maybe the edge five yeah. uh, in a late game where Jim's got to feel pretty confident. We both know Jim very well. He never feels truly confident. He absolutely knows that any game of Blood Bowl can be undone by absolute abject dice failures and again doubly so when you're playing a good coach like rick reckless <laughs> so you know he's got it but he's still got to feel confident in in his ability to get a win out of this game and, he, and he's got to protect his team for the next round no idea who he's got lined up if he does get the win here but probably uh, not as soft as a beaten up kiss left team and now I think we're going to see the strength five uh, hitting a... Uh... Oh, no, no, he's going to use the tackler to get the catcher. He's just going to edge five his way through? No. Yeah, he wants Yeah, he wants to hit the like the one remaining good player just to push. Now, exactly, that's the thing, you know, I see him score to range. Where, uh... Where's Hemlock? Hemlock got injured. Uh... Oh, of course he did. Yeah, of course he did. I, I was thinking he got, I was thinking he got KO'd. Yeah. Yeah, he got injured off that, uh, off of that. Uh, epic... <laughs> I, for some reason, One I thought I saw him come out of the KO box, but he was in the injury box. Totally forgot. Yep. What are we doing here, Rick? He's going to uh, cage Side around line. the movement, uh, the extra movement catcher. Is Rick going to play for the win in regular time here? Uh oh. Oh, that's an instant oh. roll. That might that might entice him to just score quick and just hope the high roll with the kiss lev. Doesn't doesn't seem great, but you know, not much is seeming great for Rick this game. <laughs> it's been rough. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I guess I don't watch that much Rick. I watch him fair amount, but once again, Kislev on his back hitting a wrestler. Yeah, I don't know about that, but yeah. <laughs> yes, I, there are many arguments uh, for and against, but yeah, it was the, the one ton attempt into uh, Cass and the chance he got to get, 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 grab the ball that ended in another cast. That's mathematically unlucky. 
Rick, balls confirmed, both downs, gets the stun on the edge five. And again, yes, Rick needs the high rolling here. For sure, for sure, especially if he's setting up to try and just win this in regular time. I'm excited to just see Rick leap three players in sideline cage again and then just go score. <laughs> I think the IG5 is going to get the tackle blitz by the side so. stepper. I think so. I mean, I would, I would kill. I think that's the best bet, but, uh, but. I think I think Rick has resigned himself to saying all of his weapons are depleted. Might as well get this one over with, see if the dice turn around on him. You never know. You could get a blitz. You know, a blitz with Kislev could be absolutely devastating for Jim. Yes, and uh, the problem with uh, trying to stall is that there's going to be a powerful blitz against uh, one of his good players every time. It's going to be with tackle or mighty blow, two dice, three dice. Yep. But he can protect anyone because now... Uh, Rick team is a bunch of loners. And Jim could always just one turn him too. Yes. You know, Jim Jim more specialized in the six turn, one turn uh, uh, offense than the one turn, also, one turn. Yes. But he can one turn, one turn. So you never Jim know. Jim also has the, the advantage you now that Kislev can't score right now. It's impossible. So that that's why he didn't go straight for the ball. For sure. Also, the high elves are extremely fast. And uh, also, uh, Rick can outrun the, the elves, especially without tackle and having, you know, so many elves with a uh, dodge. I don't think there's anything for it, but he's just got to put those players behind the elves and get in scoring range this turn. Otherwise, <laughs> I don't think he's going to get another shot. Also, Rick uh, only has one guard left because the other one is carrying the ball and uh, obviously you don't want uh, to raise that one. So, yeah. It's just now, now is when the TV different is uh, absolutely obvious. Just, uh, there is no wizard, no hemlock. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, gee, this is a long way to one your first roll. No re-rolls for the rest of this turn. Rick is not going to be liking that. Well, at least now the loners are like regular linemen. <laughs> Rick Wesley has spent the re-roll, so nullify the negative of the loners. Oh, I want to see a surf <laughs> here. Surf coming. Surf here coming, coming. yes. <laughs> one Here we go. That's oh! <laughs> what a one D surf. He still puts him down, though. Just as good. Oh, he might get his side stepper surfed here, though, in return. Yes. Well, he's got to make some dodges. Yep, that'll help. Is Rick one? Uh, is Rick one square too short to score with the ball carrier as is? He is, isn't he? I that think so. Yeah, he's only moved seven, so nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, one square short. 
I mean, you couldn't really get any further after having to use that, that reroll, but... Oh, oh, no! Now we might see that apple come out. Yep, he was going over there before it came up. No cast. Lucky okay. boy, Jim. Now, it wasn't the, uh, wasn't the strength five, but it was the edge five, so... Yeah, I think uh, as long as this player stays on the pitch, I think that ball's getting surfed. And there we go. Oh, <laughs> brutal game. Brutal game. Ligament injury, dead. Wow. <laughs> I know, it's so stupid. <laughs> well, well, that sure was uh, the end of Rick Reckless's Kiss Left team, I think. Couple twos here to put the ball in hand. Makes yes. them all. You can dodge out and cage. It doesn't even really need the cage, I guess. I mean, he wasn't re rolling that mango. <laughs> White cage to protect versus uh, random lips. <laughs> uh, poor Rick. Didn't really, I don't think, I feel like Rick can feel pretty hard down. Again, Rick's about as positive a coach as you're going to find. So, no, you don't need to apologize for him or feel too bad on his behalf. He'll, uh, he'll, he'll be just fine. But <laughs> is he surfing his own player? No. I would laugh pretty hard if he surfed his own player right now. Nah, D decides decides against it. <laughs> oh, no, he can uh, do a regular uh, surf now. Yep. It's just fine. <laughs> Jim Bearing the second wizard. <laughs> Gonna just come in for a uh, one D here. Oh no, two D with Oh, he's gonna make. Yeah, he's gonna make it two. Yeah, of course, he's gonna make it two. There you go. Guard in on the ball. Here comes the other hit. Wrestle two D on the ball. If he can make the leap, he does. Doesn't he get him. His, him. his ball oh, sacks. No. There we go. Reroll gets him. Ball sacks have not been treating treating him well. Uh, not a terrible scatter for Rick. Could have could have been a lot worse. I don't really know how he's gonna get that ball in hand, but he certainly has to try. He has the IG five. I'd maybe even have just gone in with. Oh yeah, the IG five. He's got a. Yeah, maybe you would have even tried it with that wrestler. To be completely honest, I guess it's in two tackle zones though. Yeah, you can just two plus his way all the way down there. Why not? <laughs> yeah, fair enough. He's standing right next to a tackler currently. Might want to go a little bit further. Yes, he needs to get that over there. Two more two pluses. Oh. <laughs> 
I was just passing back. Oh dear. No catchers in the vicinity. He's got it. Got Diving catch gets it to him. Gets it away from the tackler, but right, right in front of a 3D of <laughs> from the strike five. 3D into but no 2D time. into mm -hmm. another 2D. Yeah. If this turns around into a Rick score, though, that sure would be a play. Yeah, he can. Yeah, he can just come out and around with the tackler. Sure can. I think I would have just kept it on the edge five and just kept him going forward. But again, anything goes wrong, and, and now uh, Edge 5 can score, and, and likely will. In for another shot for uh, the still, yeah, uh, yeah still 2D. He's just going to blitz, 3D blitz with the uh, tackler. Oh, use. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Ah, he got him. Yeah. Oh, and now that he's oh, there. Look who has to pick up the ball. Can he finally do his team proud? Pick that ball up on a 2+. Makes the dodge. Pick up the ball. The pick incredible. Up. Incredible. It. Hardest roll of the game. <laughs> yep. And uh, now we're looking at reds all the way for Rick Reckless. Oh, double pow on that player. Beautiful. Armor break. Yes, you're right there, and that was to save a GA5 from the Blitzer. Yep. Now, welcome to Red Dice Country. This is where Rick does thrive, though, to be fair. To be fair, if Rick was going to win this game, it was going to be on reds and sillier stuff than he tried in the first half. Oh, frees up the wrestler. And here we go. Red die, wrestle blitz. Just pushes, pushes again. Last oh. three rolls. Thinking about it, uh, he's only Think got one more shot at this ball. Nope, he's gonna let that one stick. He's gonna sit with that last re-roll. Oh! Oh! And uh, this is starting to get into that territory where Jim comes in the Jim comes into the game with a big sigh, or coming commentary with a big sigh of relief. If we see you guys, it was rough. And said the been a rough game until the end. Yep. Really, really, again, just a master class of the early GG work by Jim. Yes, you know, absolutely. Rick, Rick, you could see the difference between him and Rick. Rick tried to counter with his own GG. Did not work out for him. And, uh, yeah, take notes, folks. Take notes. Early GGs win games. Also, a uh, master class from Rick about how to play his left against crazy odds. 
It was very, uh, very close to score twice, just. <laughs> yeah, and he'll be happy to put it in, go up 2-0. No, twice up, it's uh, kind of the opposite. Jim is doing the ricking. He's going for a deep ricking on Rick Reckless in this one. <laughs> reverse, reverse deep rick, yep. <laughs> oh, both down or no balls. Well, he now. Downs it, gets the removal. Farming some SPP the hard way. Rick is at the stage that, quoting Silas of the Lambs, he has to put the lotion in the basket. Yeah, well, last last shot for literally the last shot here. One more, uh, one more red, uh, red dice wrestle hit. And wouldn't it be something if he got those red double pows and killed that strike five? With no apple remaining, oh boy, Jim's asshole is probably going to clench at the thought of that. One in 36, oh, absolute comedy memes forever. And there he goes, there's his outlet, there's his recovery outlet pass. Although, he, I don't know why he didn't cancel both the tackler and the other guy with that one player. He could have brought him in. What's the point? He has to, he's going to be red dice anyway. Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair life. enough. Oh, and Rick. And here we go. His last reroll fails the leap. His leaps have been terrible. And he doesn't get it. There's the skull, and that's the ball game. And that's the cast. <laughs> Jesus. The I knew. I knew. a little more SPP. Never in doubt. Taking the SPP for the, you know, you know who can score. <laughs> oh my God, my dogs are soaking wet. They just came in from their walk and they're jumping on me. Ow. Okay. Wife walking dogs, not self walking dogs. <laughs> you would have uh, hit him from another uh, square to get another uh, hit. Jim, uh, crazy believing that the uh, three dice will be enough against a uh, skillless player. Big mistake. It's not over. <laughs> Jim does win. He did the full the the full Rick dicking, ricking dicking. I I lost the thread on that one. Yeah, Flicky, he went he he went he went on. Oh boy, Fabian, help me out. <laughs> My brain stopped working briefly. Yes, Rick uh, has loose. And Jim Rick, is winning. Rick has lose. Jim is winning. Damn right. Also, Rick has lost all his team. <laughs> Good day, cocky. <laughs> yes, yes, that is snake of uh, Rick and then the failure of the one turn. And the fact that the wizard was a complete disaster. Jim, uh, Jim being humble there, not not going in with the, I showed you how to GG, you pathetic loser, which is maybe <laughs> what he should have gone with. Yeah. 
And that's it, guys. We have uh, still have uh, strength five elves in the CCL. <laughs> we sure do. Probably aiming to maybe uh, level the lino. <laughs> Jeez, <boy>. Sorry. <laughs> that got me so good. <laughs> All right, we're good. <laughs> oh dear well that was a game a game between rick reckless and, and jimmy, jimmy fantastic. fantastic and rick was the most unlucky one yep Unbelievable. jim jim ending on a yeah jim ending farming a little spp why not at this point doesn't even have to kick off doesn't have to worry about anything oh glorious <laughs> And there it is, Jim, Jimmy Fantastic. Listen, there's a lot to talk about with this game, but all we really need to know is what truly motivated that perfection of an early GG. How do you learn that as a skill in Blood Bowl? Thanks, yeah, that was definitely that was definitely the highest skill point in the game, wasn't it? As much as there were good players made by, you know, Rick nearly getting the one turn, doing all the right pushes, you know, trying to defend the ball. Trying to sack the ball, all the things that happened in the game. Yeah, I've, I've, you know, not to toot my own horn, but it was perfect, wasn't it? Perfect. That GG. was just a masterclass. <laughs> I, I said, I said it live, and I meant it. <laughs> screw making, uh, screw making one turn guys for YouTube. Uh, it's all in on how to early GG by turn. You got a whole sixteen <laughs> episodes of that right there. <laughs> yes, it has been a crazy game with crazy rolls. Oh man. Oh man, the, the, the hemlock, the hemlock, <laughs> the hemlock, the hemlock was, the was absolutely thing ever. brutal. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. he was—he was almost the almost a complete liability for Rick. <laughs> Did absolutely nothing for him, <laughs> but still almost stopped your heart. Yeah, exactly. Like it was—he was almost amazing, right? He, he could, you know, I could. He meant that even without the wizard, I couldn't carry on the strength five because he could just stab him. Like, well, I mean, I couldn't carry on the strength five because I couldn't hand off to him. But <laughs> even if I had been able to hand off to strength five, it wouldn't have been safe because of the uh, because of because of hemlock anyway. But obviously, I still wanted to to him just because he'd rather he'd rather like do a two plus leap and hit with Arch 4 wouldn't like you know the the wrestler like you would you would rather go for his reliable players than trying to stab so i still rather had it on the strength five just to make the kiz lever relevant and only hemlock but then obviously once there's no hemlock at all then then it's amazing there has been eight armor breaks four armor breaks for a total of, uh, i don't know uh, <laughs> seven, cast. Or seven cast seven cast seven cast and four uh, chaos <laughs> A nice, nice little MVP wow. on the end there. Uh, get you another wow. level up. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? 11 removals from 12 armor breaks. Yeah, that was a very nice, <laughs> very nice MVP. Well, that is crazy. The catches! You, went, the you, catch you, 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 you did a full ricking, as we decided it was called. You went full rick yeah. on him. Yeah, I mean, and the fireball, the fireball was also another complete disaster for Rick. You know, I was thinking was, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did get I did get triple skulls and uh, that was <laughs> followed that was by fun. triple pushes. Yeah. Yeah, your three dies in general were pretty weak. It felt. Yeah. But um, yeah, that was that that was the that was the killer. Obviously, the uh, the, the double one because like he nearly just he nearly just turned me over and went one yeah. up without using the wizard in the in which case. <laughs> He's really and killed strong. your player in the process. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he was he was so close to nearly like almost winning on that turn. It was crazy. That play was like absolutely just designed to take you out of the game. Like <laughs> yeah. the death alone would piss you off, even if you didn't get the ball. Wow. Then he gets the ball, and he almost got away. <laughs> the, the death wasn't that bad. I deliberately carried on the rookie on the rookie lineman, so yeah, I didn't yeah. care if he got bolted or killed by it. But obviously, that and that's the thing, right? Because because he's got the wizard, I've got to carry on a crap guy, 
which means that the wizard is devastated. Like the the wizard, the non wizard moves are more devastating because it's easy to wrestle him and like get the guard in. So like the wrestle, the the wizard really did make it hard. It was it was going to make him easier to get, easier for him to get the ball from open play, wasn't it? That was the thing. Yeah. So, Technically yeah. two deaths, but the Apo saved one of them, Kale. Yeah, yeah. The Edge Five died, which was which would have been horrible, and a uh, a lineman that was bought for the game died. So. Oh, you bought him? Yeah, I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, well. Um... Oh, who's your next opponent? I think Alma Forever was here, thinking that uh, he's, it's him. It is, yeah, it's Alma Forever and his Dark Elves. So it, that's going to be a tough game as well. I'm, I believe it's Dark Elves. That's going to be a really tough game as well. It's 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 kind of, We're in a brutal draw. We got a brutal draw, did uh, Rick and I, because we've got... You know, obviously we had each other. Then we had these dark elves. Then either then... Veli, who's won twice with high elves, or Cruz, who's won six times with chops. So you know, Jeez. the whole the whole draw was pretty bad all round for 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 Rick and I, Rick and me. But there you go. Whew, that was that was. Thank you, uh, thank you, chat. Uh, yeah, that was. It was it was always going to be tough. Like it was always going to be tough because he was always going to get those games from. He was always going to get those chances from open play with the wizard. But then and I tried like I, I tried to get rid of it. And it just bloody couldn't catch it, could he? <laughs> that was unbelievable. Two times in a row, those scatters too, like yeah. right going into the, the hands of a player that couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. Going Scares to the them. blitzer. Going to the blitzer. That was the one that scored the first touchdown in the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, went to him twice, didn't it? But like at least he was bloodstep, so like I could control the scatters a little bit when he got sca yeah. sacked. That was I okay. Mean, yeah, the trade-off there was that those the, when Rick was scattering the ball, it almost always went exactly where you would have wanted it to go. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, yeah. It uh, it kind of evened out there, but ultimately this game boils down to just a masterclass in early GGing and basically nothing else. So, <laughs> well done. <laughs> nothing worth else mentioning clearly. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, it was. Uh, they were really crazy days. They were like they were. Crazy dice, but a bit crazy in both directions. But yeah, obviously I got, I got the better of it with him not winning by rolling a double one. <laughs> that was that obviously had a really big impact. That that double one that just stopped him instantly winning was was pretty big. <laughs> I found it funny how much you clearly wanted to surf the guy in the end zone and never got a chance to. <laughs> yeah, no, I really, I desperately wanted to, but it was just so hard to defend. Yeah, you couldn't. Yeah, you couldn't because uh, just because I mean because of uh, because of uh, uh, the skink. Yeah. <laughs> like you just didn't like you still had to worry about him being on the pitch. Now it was good you always you never had it on on a on a catcher. Uh, I don't think like he only ever stabbed at armor eight. So. Yeah, yeah, that was a bit better. Yeah. Whew. Um. And uh, why no sidestep? Well, I could only put two sidesteps on the LOS, so. Why? Why do that? <laughs> Basically, yeah, that was always going to have the shot. You might as well not expose them. Yeah, he's he's got move eight and sidestep. That's that's a pretty. It's pretty easy for him. And he's got like you know edge four and everything. It, it's pretty easy for him to get the pushes. Like Rick knows what to do. So like, it, I mean, maybe I could have set up a full defense and 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 hope that I could stop it. But even and then he could just sat. He could just stunt. He dodge through everything as well. I I don't know. I just thought. It, let him roll the dice. He's he's got edge three. He might not score. <laughs> you know, like I know it's it's not much of a defense. <laughs> Hope his edge three fails, but you know, and yeah. and it was a loner as well, right? So it was making his dodges and his GFIs were both harder because of that, and the catch was harder because of that. So I think overall he was probably quite low odds to get the one turn. Um, um, you did make a pretty critical mistake in not putting tackle on every square there. On <laughs> yeah, the we're talking about that, you know, and uh, newbie mistakes. And he almost rookie. punished you for it. He almost punished you for it. He almost got through. It was that last dodge that got him. Yeah, that was the thing, wasn't it? See, brilliant. It was it was the Dio, it was the Dio trap one turn defense. That's that's, that's what got him. <laughs> the only thing that worked uh, <laughs> worked against him. <laughs> you know, if I had set up an amazing one turn defense, so he didn't even try, he would have st he would have still had hemlock for the second half. So <laughs> genius, <laughs> genius Isn't defensive. Claw, like forty minutes away, J5. Uh, well, uh, we're probably gonna go. We're probably gonna go start claw early uh, with you know. Rick just finishing, but anyway, I, I better wrap up the YouTube video. So thank you, thank you very much, uh, Faimir and Skuro. Absolutely great of you both to to come in and do this. Always oh, a pleasure, and it was an spectacular game to watch. Absolutely.
Cheers, guys. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.